Hi there and welcome back dear friends and thinkers to the Empire of Portugal. The old and ailing Emperor Christian Aldonsis of Portugal. The combat dwarf. I mean, <laughs> we're still excellent even though old age has given us a lot of um, penalties. So we're not personally going for a knight anymore. But only leading armies from time to time. So we would of course like to grab maybe the other kingdoms here but we'll not be able to do that in our lifetime so we want to get a lot from here where we can lead holy wars and not influence our vassals these vassals are dangerous as you can see here and uh, we can really only control them when we don't lead wars against our family members here. I mean, we could of course try to revoke titles, but that doesn't really work. So what we do is expand here and give as much as we can to our heirs. Just like everything. We have led war against the Sultanate of Africa, against Mzab, against Gad, and now <laughs> We're looking for more. We could have the Kingdom of Takur, the Kingdom of Ghana, and uh, the Kingdom, yeah, the thing, Kingdom of Takrur, actually. That is a very, very strong kingdom. Then you have the Kingdom of Ghana that is in deep trouble, apparently. We should have a look here. What, what is it? What is that guy doing? What is he? He has a completely different culture. We'll have to see. They're defending against Galam currently and Alaitun Gangyungbeg Salon. Senku, in the Kingdom of Mali. We cannot attack here the Mesian Emirate, even though we could do holy wars, but not against them. So um, they hate us anyway, so. Um, it's good to, to declare a war against them and take some of their territory. Um, the Duchy of Adra. Let's see if that's... Uh, that's only a county, so we'll go for the Chiefdom of Vadan. They are relatively strong, but we don't care. We've got the money. And it's pretty sunny. Also changed our our laws to only uh, to to petition uh, partition law, which will lead to not as much splitting up, which is just great to know. We have our council. Uh, we should convert faith somewhere. Already converting culture. We should continue to convert faith. Maybe. Here, where our grandson is, right? So we'll go to the county of Hodna and convert them there. And we'll get our um, troops here. I have considered your plight. Nice. Uh, praise St. Matthew. Glad you accept your betrothal. Your daughter, Nivina, and I will be the best couple ever. Nice, nice, nice. A stranger inside, there's a thing inside me which is not me. It eats its way through my flesh, feeding off my life force, its strength increasing while I wither away. Oh god, we got cancer? Ugh. Push my hands against the growth under my skin, my fingers aching to tear it out. The thought of it growing makes me want to puke. It's unfortunate it's cancer. I only know of one efficient treatment. It's too late for caution, oh liar. At least she likes us now when we need her. It's too late for caution. Olaya informed me that she had identified the tainted tissue which was the root of my disease and that removing it would most likely cure me. I was most pleased and agreed to the surgery. I wish Olaya hadn't told me that the tissue was my face. The treatment was almost as unpleasant as my symptoms, yet it seems to have been effective. 
While I'm not fully cured, I feel much better. I'm wounded, disfigured, and have cancer. <laughs> A massive boost. Wow. We might die from that treatment. I will maybe live another day. And we are also one-legged, so she also took away a leg from that. Uh, now we're a one-legged disfigured dwarf with lover's pox, who is rockish and recluse. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, such persons can only exist in... Uh, Oh, our culture is now fascinated by the royal prerogative. Are we not the culture head? Ah, oh, yeah. Which shows a new... A new fascination. Let's find out. What could we do? Is royal prerogative good? Ah, oh, yeah. High crown authority law. Yeah, yeah. We would like to do that. Would definitely like to do that. Royal prerogative. It is. It is. And here we go. We've got different armies here. Led by different people. Mm. What is there? The tribe of Wadan. Here we go. Got another army. The army of Azuki. We'll go to Tikit. Oh well, hello there, and goodbye. Dying, you are at death's doorstep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good idea to not spend too much gold so we can afford mercenaries or gifts. Demanding artifact, nope. <laughs> Are we leading any army? I hope not, but who knows? Who knows? The end of a life. Boreas. Uh, we want endurance in a stallion. I know it's pretty foolish, but we are dying and we don't want to see it. We don't want to see it. Um, could host an exotic feast. So everyone likes us more, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Send the invitation. We'll go out with a bang. A cheery gathering. Welcome, friends. A motto for the ages. Uh, well, I can hear my beneficiary Gudrun muttering to herself from across the hall. I need something great, something epic to make my creation stand out from the uninspired mosses. What, what? Just what, my lord? Uh, what an amazing idea. What do you think of adding a family's motto to your commission? Sure, that sounds lovely. Boreas leaves a strong foal behind. I can already see her personality in the young one. My friend is still with me in a sense. Rest easy, Boreas. A troubled vassal. The pleading gaze I received from a vassal Alphonse is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner he has hid in all evening and the walls are hindering his escape. The poor man has never been good with people. Yeah, come here, come here. We'll go into my chambers and play play some chess called Alphonse. The war horse. Admiring the mare that now follows my every command, I muse what to call her. It's just a horse. It's just a horse. Uh, Prancer. I'll just call her Prancer. Neutral spirits. Uh, thanks to the presence of our queen, everything became exceptional. We spoke all evening about all manner of subjects. Things would have it. We seemed to have a lot in common. I had such a good time with her. What a good evening. With our wife. She's a comfort eater now. God. Okay. <laughs> a feast with a friend. My grandson. What would life be without him? Reinvigorating friendship. 
A huge health boost. So my guests depart. As everyone headed home with bellies full of exotic delicacies, I'm proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife, Joannan, to thank much for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude. She sees the last few guests off. Wonderful. And we can go for a private army. We can have one more men at arms regiment and recruit, recruit a ho horse guard as men at arms. My wound has healed. We're no longer wounded. Wow. Well, look at that. We still got cancer, but uh, we're much better off. And we're feeling fine now, actually. We are feeling fine. Let's see at our court what we what we actually have. We could hire someone now. I understood that right. No, actually not. Oh well. Let's have a look at the military. Yeah, we could indeed create one more men at arms regiment. Let's see. What do we have? Bowmen, caballeros, pikemen, armored footmen, onagers, and light footmen. And we can add the house guard, right? Ah yeah, that was what we had there. Yeah, we'll 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 add the house guard. We don't have the house guard yet. We'll add the house guard. What a magnificent idea. The visit. I'm passing through Fez, the capital of my vassal Duke Osorio, when I receive an invitation to visit his castle. Uh, I'll stay for a while. Library where the books are stacked in corners, unfinished building project all over the place, most notably a whole dining hall and a chest of gold just standing in the middle of a hallway. His castle is a mess. <sighs> I think I can help out. The books, the poor books. The books, the poor books. I'll sort the books. For a lot of reshuffling, there's finally some semblance of order in the chaos that is Duke Osorio's library. Things are looking good. There are other areas I still can help him out. Um, maybe the dining hall. All it needed was some dedicated attention. I soon have the Duke Osorio's dining hall well on its way to completion. Things are looking good. And there are other areas I still can help him out. The chest of go uh, gold is very unguarded. <laughs> they explain the risks of keeping a chest of gold out in the open. Duke Osorio's eyes widen in realization of, oh, of course it shouldn't be there. Thank you, Emperor Christian. I have done all in my power to help him. Now it's time for bed. Oh, the haunting. More and more wide-eyed servants seek me out, claiming to have seen my father, Emperor Guyen, walking the halls. He can find no rest, my lord. That's why he stalks the place of his demise. I will have someone look into this. Ugh. Dismissed servants fear. Or we could have acknowledged their fear. I don't know. That would increase popular opinion. But Lope will stop to yeah, I'll have some look someone into this. We're really into the visit. Yeah, I spot Duke Osorio by the entrance, waiting to see me off in the morning. As I walk up, I hear him muttering to himself, he's great, the castle is like new. Um, after a quick goodbye, I'm soon on the road back home again. I'm glad I was able to help. Assist since Soninke's spare after the siege of Tichit. Hmm? Interesting thing. Raid speed. That seems good. Inspiration of the highest quality. I've never seen such fine quality before. My beneficiary Gudrun breaks away from our market procession to accost the merchant selling the coveted item. Ecstatic over a fight. 
With this, my project would reach new heights. I could create something truly marvelous. Please, my emperor, bestow this gift upon me. Um, yeah, project is worth investing in. Got some gold. We inherited the county of Silvers and one other titles from Count Gerardo. Oh, the county of Silvers. Count Gerardo. We just looked into him. He was one of the faction guys. Yeah. So what what do we have now? Mm. Where are you, County of Silves? I don't really know. Ah, plus seven. Here we go. County of Silvers and County of Faro. Where the hell is the County of Faro? Ah, it's here. Faro and Silvers. Duchy of Algarve. Duchy of Algarve. And who has the Duchy of Algarve? No one. Hmm. I feel someone should become the Duke of Algarve. Hmm. That guy just died. Without kids. Infante Christian. He's unlanded. Is he good? I mean, he's scaly, intelligent, handsome, a mastermind philosopher, truly worth investing in. Then we've got a religious thinker here. Uh, we should give him something, right? Maybe he'll get Algarve or something. Uh, oh, wait. Um, we must strengthen the dynasty. Two out of five, we can grant him that stuff. County of Silvers, County of Faro. Duke Christian gets that and also gain the Duchy of Algarve. Here we go, little one. You'll be powerful. Count on it. Mm. A mirror of God. I don't know. Uh, that's an army here. We could go to Kadima. Going into the desert realms. We've had an inspiration realized. Over here, my lord, my beneficiary Gudrun waves me over with a wide grin. I've told many days and nights, and finally, my work is done. She presents me with an object wrapped in cloth, and as I lift the fabric, my eyes grow wide. A beautiful crown of very fine craftsmanship. The crown is forged from gold and adorned with intricate filigree. It frames a larger sapphire counterpiece. Oh, now Gudrun's crown, a masterwork headgear. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Building construction cost goes down. That is lovely. That is really nice. What kind of crown do we have? We don't have that fine of a crown. Yeah, we have just have a fine crown. We want Gudrun's crown. Mm, what do you have, my little one? You'll get a crown. Let's see. The Emir's crown. Hmm. 
we have the fine crown. And we'll just get the fine crown. Here we go. Duke Christian Botez. He's feeling fine, but he's a bleeder. Hmm. It's so cross getting a foothold there. Wow, we've gained so many artifact claims. What's going on? Who is that? Someone probably someone has died, right? King Pignolu. Strategical impasse. I'm sitting around the map table with Infanta Odonio and King Nunu. Discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. King Nunu. Odonio. We like them both, but we can employ both strategies. The skull of the stalking wolf of Evora. Yeah. We're feeling fine again. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Prisoners taking in a siege. Interesting. We've gained that back. Still losing supplies. Let's go over to Gudimaka. All of us are like undersupplied. That's just an impassable area. King Gui. An extra hand for all the authority I supposedly wield as an emperor. I cannot be everywhere in my realm at once. There will always be those who forget to obey my orders once my attention is turned elsewhere. This is where my knight Lope could come in, who has been faithfully enforcing my decrees by touring the countryside. Could he serve as my right hand man and take a more active role in administering my realm? On the other hand, we could have our half brother handle that. He'll serve me well. Right hand. Mm. Orion Jamaric. Lope. Fanta Todorka. He'll be fine with joining our uh, dynasty. Arthur is no longer our bodyguard. Oh, he died from old age, natural causes. Uh, better get another bodyguard. Lope. I think we can trust Lope. He's our right hand man and now bodyguard too. And he looks very similar to the other bodyguard. Let's see, a master of the hunt would also be nice. Count Lope of Molina. Hmm. Half brother vassal. Yeah, let's appoint him. It's fine. Captured more and more. How, what's going on in the court? My knight Balask is livid. Apparently, he had been certain that the honor would befall Lope, uh, him, and no one else. So, okay, I mean. He could become court musician. Oh, come off it. Come off it, man. The knight does as the knight does. Uh, the, the king does as the king does. Aha. Uh -huh. That guy might join. 
or die. <laughs> He's hideous. Shishia, reclusive, but a wise man. Following the Orisa faith. We're sieging everywhere. What, what's going on there? Is anyone coming anywhere? Controlling more, even? Dugosaurius, not swayed. Hard, hard, hard. You can ransom prisoners? No, we don't want to do that right now. Control goody marker. Uh, someone's plotting against my knight, Gonzalo. Must stop the villain. Hadia died in my dungeons. Oh my goodness. We should look into the dungeons again. There's some prisoners in here. Fatim Kifa. She's an evil maniac. And lunatic. She can go. Beretic Kiffer. Hmm. She's gotta be trothed. We can just convert her. And she can go. Emira Hadia. Could ransom her and Madia Ali. Cannot really ransom her. Could negotiate her release. But she ne needs to be of another faith. Here we go. We have sappers now. Ah. Siege progress gets quicker. That's what we like to see. Farewell, farewell. Leave my prison at once. Ah, there's the capital. Let's siege the capital. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, 1600. You can go over here. Ah, no longer our food taste. What happened to her? She's feeling fine. She became glutton, so she cannot taste the food any longer. Mm, all right. Our granddaughter's doing good for that. Well, we trust her, of course. Here we go. Go to Gutes de Cantabria. Our nephew, the spineless villain. They don't even have kids. What what happened there? I question that. And they're 26. They've been married for a very long time. They don't have kids. What What's going wrong with you? These are the Middle Ages. These are the Middle Ages. Joao was slain during the Battle of Castellion. Mm. Not good. Not good. Can modify contracts. Mayamonia. Oh, Infante Christian. No, we don't want that. Duke Domingo. Fernando, Luke Christian, Count Lope and Alphonse. Oh, that would be an act of tyranny. Eh? And if we make it so, then it will be okay. Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. That's not great. That's not great. You'll go over here quickly. That has been taken. You'll meet here. Where are they going to? Wow. 
What are these armies doing here? Ah, look! <laughs> Just came through. We can enforce the demands. Long live us being a knight. Faction victory! <laughs> a much greater foe than I imagined. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Being a knight has so many advantages. We have Wadan now. Wadan. <laughs> what a terrible county, but it's a duchy. It's like a duchy capital. We could even create the duchy of Adra here. What do the other things belong to? Our heir? Our grandson, Count Lorian, the man with a raised eyebrow. Mm hmm. Wadan. I think we'll keep Wadan for a bit, right? There's Bidaism, ancestor worship, human sacrifice, adaptive. Sins, wrathful, arrogant, and winch for virtues, calm, humble, and a twin. A twin! That's a okay. That's nice. <sighs> That's kind of crazy. I mean, if you Duke Domingo create the Liberty faction, what's wrong with you, little one? He's disgusted of us. Why is he disgusted? Hmm. Got no kids too. What's going on? He's gout ridden. What have, you, what have you been doing, man? What have you been doing with your life? But you, you, well, you could use more. Maybe we'll give you what done, you know? Hmm. Christian Christianus. It's Canarius and Madeira. Yeah, that's something solid. Then we have Xil de Cantabria. But he's from another part. Um, hmm. Oh, 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 that's that's his brother. Ah, he's got Saura. Well, that's just around the corner, right? I mean, who could have that? Count Lorian. Saura and Amatlus. Still, we want we want the direct line strengthened first. So Christian will get Wadan. Whatever that will bring him. Here we go. Next step. How is it in Africa? Uh, not good in Umsab. We could declare war on Umsab. For the duchy, for the county. Right, it would have needed duchy there. Then we'll declare for the duchy. only want the men at arms here, I think that's enough. Some allies joining in, but that cannot stop us. We could go ourselves limping with a mask. <laughs> Yes. 
Let's march over. Could we reach them still? No, not really. We'll keep sieging here. Should be quick. Rats gathering. Count Sancho has denounced me. Citing my rivalry with his sister and friend Alda. Sancho. But a flock of sheep. Look at the quickness which we can do that. A scheme at court? Someone's plotting against my wife, Empress Yornan? Oh, gods, no. Oh. Someone wants to fabricate a hook against her. And we've captured Emirabaz. Well then, you should lead armies and not wait to be captured. Here we go. That was one of the quickest wars. Uh, Barony of Waja is part of the Duchy of Mzab. Arig is part of the Duchy of Mzab. Let's see. Barony of Gardia, part of the Duchy of Mzab. Well, Son and Vassal should get, should get that, right? He's not the Duke of Mzab. Vargla and Arig. Would be something we would like to give him. Even though he's strong already, right? But yeah, we just want to give it that to that to him. We can create the duchy. And we'll give the duchy of Mzab to him as well, so he's a proper duke. Our son, the duke. Oh, we still like that. We still like that sound. He's a very, a very diplomatic man too. Trusting, content. He needs some power to stay in power. Then he'll make a good ruler. We have Africa. We cannot declare a war on Africa. How about Gut? No. Look, Tadmeka. What about you? <laughs> we are feeling fine because of the reinvigorating friendship. It's phenomenal, right? We are the <laughs> The Dwarf of Fate. The Dwarf of Fate. Maybe now it would be time to like uh, develop the capital once more. That would be critical. So we should do something, something else maybe. Visit a brothel, hmm. attempt suicide. Most probably not, no. Uh, we could, we could, we could, we could exoticize a great hall. The court is filled with room after room after room, enough that even some of our more impressive halls go unused through much of the year. With this much architecture to style and decorate, surely we can afford to splash out on something modeled in a radically different style. What would happen? You ponder other... M ah, that would be... We could introduce a new fashion at court, too. We'll just think for a bit. And then um, we'll do something diligent. I'm truly at peace. And at peace we develop the diligent planning. For our capital and then could maybe visit a brothel i don't know we will lose some stress when can we call for a hunt in two years exotic feast 
four years. Um, go on a pilgrimage. It's too expensive. Uh, we just have to do something. Here I come, girls. <laughs> I lay in a tangle of limbs. A woman straddling me as release and relief shudders through me. My mind is calmer than it has been in weeks, but still my pulse races. Magnificent. Once more. Come here, guys. Girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our wife knows about it. Schema. Mm -hmm. Duke Ramiro is plotting against my wife. A heartless fiend. Mm -mm. Let's see if we can reveal something. How about her? You could also become a witch, maybe. Elisa de Espteban's. She's mothered many children, indeed, indeed. King Vicente has changed the court language of Bohemia. Okay. Okay, I mean, he can speak High German. A familial Kingslayer. Ah, that only the best. Only the best. Let's see. We have a prisoner. Mbodi Silla. Bold, empath, gregarious, diligent, compassionate. I mean, we would definitely like her. She's an, an administrator. She has no more spouse. Uh, maybe she could stay. Add the exotics. Watch your step now. We kind of like her. She doesn't like us, but... Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we want the full court thing going on. Maybe let's let's find out. Maybe not a but a, a cup bearer would be excellent. Whom do we have? Our courtier and rational villain, Ralinda Livigildiana Murcia. Oh, why not? We kind of like her. We tolerate her and she kind of likes us. Let's see about a court musician. Yeah, that's something exotic for her, right? We would, that is something we would do, right? Uh, exotic uh, people from exotic lands, and they must uh, add the music there. That's That was, I think, the style back then, even though that's... Today, you can see that's what a scoundrel would do. The arrogance of power, but that's... Back then, that was exactly, yeah. Damnable, but something to brag with. Like so many things, also today. Mm, you could have a personal champion, Balask, got in. He wanted to do something. He, he can be our personal champion. Then here we go. Balask. Don't really like him. Oh, he revolted against me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and now he's our champion. Yeah, because we don't want a duel anymore. Really spending the money left and right. Our kinsman created the cutted branch. Okay. Duke Pontio the second of Gwynedd. He's up there now. <laughs> In Gwynedd. The Gwynedd man. Oh my goodness me. 
The Gwynned Man. <laughs> Could we arrange a marriage with, with his house? We have our son here. No. Maybe our our great granddaughter. No. Okay. <laughs> Does he have no kids? He has this little guy here, right? We have no one. No one would be acceptable. Too far away, I guess. Too. Far away. What's going on here? What's going on in Alicante? Count Mundir. Not at war? There is something happening here. Whoever, whatever, whenever. Ah, he's defending against the Duke of Marrakesh. Our half-brother. And he's got problems. Against the Duke of Marrakesh. Yeah, we cannot really go for the infighting between our people. What's going on here? Our nephew and King Pinolo's steward... Offer to join the war. What war is that? The Peasant Revolt. Yeah. That's kind of our diplomacy, right? We'll offer to join this war. We'll raise something there and make a win, come on. Only with the men at arms though. The rest, we really don't care. We could lead... Um, I don't know. Lope of Molina, that's quite enough. We don't want the peasant leaders here. Cousin taken prisoner. Mm. Yeah, we've got a peasant leader now. That's what we gained. <laughs> ah, he's in another court. Okay. All right, all right. There's a lot of infighting, right? And you can see that there's quite something. Anna comes of age. Proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. They grow up so fast. She's an elusive shadow. She's betrothed to our master of the hunt, Count Lope of Molina. And they'll marry. Here we go. May your union be bring happiness and fulfillment. Indeed. Indeed, Count. You'll have my... Uh, well, my intelligent daughter. And she'll defend you with intrigue. With good intrigue. Hand on Infante will expire. Uh, that doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter to me. He's making a lot of gold. Got solid investments going. Nice, nice, nice. How about his spouse? Is she? Oh, she's pregnant again. Nice. She doesn't look like she's uh, healthy, but she is very healthy. She's even healthier than him. <laughs> yeah, he's. I. I know. Of course, he's a bleeder, but child benefits from Todorka. Dorcas doing well. Our hook on Infante Christian has, yeah, he's a leper. Uh, the poor one, the poor one. 
Toil and hard work, my great grandson, Duke Christian, has been impressed with one of the household knights for a very long time. He repeats the warrior's words to himself. Work hard and you can master anything. Indeed, hard work will bring him where he wants. He will become diligent. Compliments. Aha. Unshakable faith in gold. Let's see. I mean, he's surely... I will keep it... We'll try. Yeah, a source of joy. Nice, Osorio. Nice, nice, nice. And... Um, yeah, we'll just... Try to maintain subtlety. Ended our scheme. Nice. Swayed him as much as we could. That's his wife, and she's pregnant, finally. Finally again. What could, would, should we do next? There is God. We cannot declare on God. There is Africa. Oh, he got something. He's also the successor of someone else. He's got smallpox. He's gout-ridden and a comfort eater. Well, I guess uh, oh, she, he married her. She was the former ruler. She's robust. And he's... I don't know. Not in a very good state. could go for a holy war for the kingdoms that's the Sultanate of Africa I mean our lifetime ends soon and uh, that's the one war that we could attempt the one war that we could attempt yeah we'll do that next time thank you my friends and happy gaming next time there will be a holy war against the Sultanate of Africa will see us hopefully gain a lot of ground if we survive for so long and as bordering the Abdullahid Empire probably the mightiest empire in the Crusader Kings world here at the moment next to us maybe maybe so have a great time until next time and happy gaming this is Immanuel Khan signing out see you soon and happy gaming have a great time until then